Hey, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but I could binge watch organization videos all day and I finally found the time to organize my pantry. So this has been such a rewarding and satisfying project. If you missed my previous video, I showed you guys how I DIY'd my entire pantry. So we started off with some basic wire racks that weren't very practical. So I ripped those out. I replaced it with some nice sturdy custom shelving and I also added a few cabinets for extra storage. Then I finished it off with some nice trim to make the pantry look nice and high-end. I also posted a video on how I designed our entire pantry in SketchUp so that I can customize it to fit our exact needs. So I will link both of those videos in the description below. I will also share a link for all of my pantry items in the description below as well as a link to my blog post which goes more in depth on my pantry items. Enough about that though, you guys clicked on this video to see some pantry organizations organization, so let's get right to it. So I've already taken everything out of the pantry in my previous pantry makeover video. I went through all of our food and cleaned out all of the food storage containers. Now I can start putting things back nice and organized. quick share something with you guys that I found at Target. So this embossing label maker was only 10 bucks and it came with a black roll and a red roll for the labels and I'm using black and I'll show you how it turned out. I just think those are so clean and cute. So the spice stars I bought from Amazon, label maker from Target. Now I need to go and make 23 more labels. <laughs>
So I'm going to make a quick rack for my spices and for my cans. So this is just some extra lumber that I had in the garage. Um, I'll kind of show you what I have planned. So this will be one rack and this will be one. For the cans, this one's a little bit wider. So my cans can just sit like this. Just enough so you can see each of the labels. So this one is two and a half inches tall and this one is five inches tall and they're both 22 inches long. And then I'll do the same thing for my spices so that they sit kind of in tiers and you can see all the labels. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some wood glue here and then nail it together with some one inch brad nails. You can paint these or stain these. I'm just gonna leave them plain right now. I may stain them or paint them down the road, but I just wanted to make something really quick and easy. So I'm gonna nail straight down. Probably just do two nails on each side. And there we go, super easy. That's my two and a half inch rack, and this one will be my five inch. So that's good for the cans. Now we'll do these for the spice rack. So again, I use two and a half inches and five inches for the height. Probably should be doing this in the garage and not on my nice countertops, but it's all good. All right. Okay, so on the bottom countertop here, these baskets are from Amazon. This Lazy Susan spinner here is from Target. This utensil jar is from Target. This is from the Hearth and Home collection with Magnolia. Spice jars from Amazon, labels and label maker from Target. All of these jars I got from Home Goods, as well as this container for the oatmeal. These cereal containers and the pasta container are from Target. And then these plastic containers are from Amazon. So I'll show you what I ended up putting in my cabinets. So I kind of shuffled around some things. In the top shelf here, we have Ziploc baggies, and then our saran wrap, wax paper, that kind of stuff. On the bottom shelf here, I just kind of have some miscellaneous stuff, extra condiments, our big jugs of oil and random stuff that didn't really have a home. 
And then this cabinet is for drinks and stuff. So we have our old coffee maker that we don't really use, extra water, cups, coffee, tea, things like that. Stuff we don't really use is way on the top. In the corner here, I'm going to put our recycling bin and a pack of water. I don't really have anything else that I need to store in here. This is pretty much it. It's just Devin and I here, so we don't have a lot of food or pantry items. I'm sure if you have kids or a large family, this setup might not work for you. But I think with just the two of us, we'll be able to keep this pretty well organized. 